get traffic to your site, leads to your forums, and purchases to your e-commerce today by claiming $500 free ad credit to Google Ads. Today we're going to be talking about four steps to get started with Google Ads and then of course claiming that $500 credit. But first, go ahead and do us a quick favor and like this video, smash that subscribe button, and toggle the notification bell so that you can stay up on all the latest tips, tricks, and trends in digital marketing. Now we talk a lot about SEO, PPC, paid social, and marketing automation on this channel. And as many of you know, search engine optimization or SEO is that organic or free traffic to your site. And while we do see a ton of rapid success with SEO, sometimes some of those campaigns can take time to mature. So to supplement some of the growth and traffic that we're waiting to get with our SEO campaigns, it is always a good idea to claim this free $500 credit to Google Ads. We often talk about SEO and PPC or paid search like the relationship between a gardener and a plumber. A gardener has to worry about the soil, the water, the sunlight, and then iterate until a garden starts to grow. A plumber, however, somebody can pay a plumber for their time and then of course the parts and the plumber can make the repair and turn on the water. In this case, for Google Ads, we can go ahead and turn on the water or turn on the traffic to your site and to use some of Google's money to do it. So here are the four steps. Number one, claim your promotion. Number two, set up the first campaign. Number three, add a billing source. And number four, you need to spend 500 to get the 500, and that has to be completed in 60 days. Now, you may be tight on cash, but consider this, $500 plus the $500 that you get, $1,000 worth of ad spend could very well provide you enough budget to run ads for two to three months. And then of course, get that inbound traffic and supplement your growth while your SEO matures. Google Ads has a very large audience base and the ability to target very specific audiences. So it is a great first place to spend a little money to increase your business. So let's dive in. Step number one, claim the offer. Go ahead and do a quick Google search for Google Ads. You'll see a sponsored ad right here, which is a Google ad for Google Ads. Go ahead and click on that, and you're gonna notice in the top here the ability to see that $500 ad credit and then click Learn More. And right there, you have the option to claim this offer. That's gonna prompt you to sign in with your Google account. And if you don't already have a business account, go ahead and go through the steps to create one. Next, you need to create a campaign. Now, there are two key components to creating a good campaign for Google Ads. Number one, you have to identify a keyword that you wanna rank for and then cater your ad copy to that. And number two, you've gotta send those users to a landing page that's relevant to your copy and your ad. While this isn't a video about keyword research, you can come up here to tools and settings and select keyword planner. In here, you have the opportunity to both look for keywords and their existing search volume, and then of course, discover new keywords based off of some creative ideas that you may have. We'd recommend plugging in a couple of keywords to get an idea of their volume or how many times they're being searched in a given month and their competition. How difficult will it be for you to rank for those keywords in the auction in Google Ads? Select create campaign and then select new campaign. Now, depending on your business and your goals, you're gonna wanna select an objective that's pertinent to what you're trying to do. In this case, we're gonna select leads and then we're gonna come down here to the performance max campaign. We'll name the campaign, in this case we'll leave it as is, and then we're gonna hit agree and continue. Next, you're going to want to create your conversion action. Now, I've already selected create conversion action and I'm on to the next window here with the installation options. Go ahead and select that drop down, and you're gonna install the tracking code yourself. You will click on this box and grab this code. Now, there are a couple ways to do this. If you've been following along and you've got a WordPress site, you can install this using a header footer code manager plugin. Another option is to go ahead and use Google Tag Manager. This is the tracking code that is going to report back to Google ads to let them know when they did the thing that you wanted them to do. Now you're going to select continue and now we can start setting up the campaign. In this case, we're going to leave it on focusing on conversions, but you can do conversion value. And as you start to become more familiar with the costs and your value of these leads, you can start to set in a target CPA or cost per action. Next, you have the option to toggle only bid for new customers or leave blank, which will automatically bid for new and existing customers equally. For now, we'll leave it as is and we're gonna go ahead and select next. 
A lot of these are intuitive, so you're just going to go ahead and select the location that you want to target, languages that you want to target, and then you can come down here to the automatically created assets and determine whether or not you would like Google to provide you text assets as well as the final destination URL for where to send that traffic. Google will optimize based off of the URLs that are on your site and the conversion rate that they're tracking through that installed code. And you can finish up here and come down to more settings and select the specific timing that you'd like that ad to show. Then go ahead and select next. Next, you gotta set your assets group. The important, you need to identify three potential headlines that would captivate somebody that is searching for the query that you're gonna bid for. You don't have a ton of characters and it is a good idea to have your brand in the headline. So do a quick Google search, look at what others are doing and use that to give you some ideas about what to put here. Once you've completed with all of the campaign setup steps, you're gonna land on the summary step and it's gonna automatically evaluate your campaign for any errors. Go ahead and fix them now. Next, you need to set up your billing source. If that was not an automatic step for you already to this point, go ahead and come up here to tools and settings and you can come over to billing and you should see something that says setup or settings. Now, step four, is really part of the offer itself. You have to spend 500 to get the 500 and that needs to be completed in 60 days. That's gonna be a really good budget for you for the next two months to supplement traffic and growth to your business during the time that your SEO campaigns mature. And what's really awesome is that there are several paid ads platforms that offer a credit like this and we'll go into videos on how to claim those as well right out of the gate with Google giving you $500 to your $500, that's a 100% return on your investment. And then of course that money then goes into growing your business. It's really a no brainer, and which is why we're helping so many people do this. As always, if you need any help with this process, Run Lead Gen is here to help you. And if you decide to do Google Ads as a service through Run Lead Gen, we will do this at no cost to you. We hope you found this video valuable in helping you get your Google Ads started. Go ahead and like and subscribe as we'll go into more detail about Google Ads campaigns as well as other digital marketing efforts. This is Quinn with Run Lead Gen, and we'll see you next time.